To get to the World Cup, most New Yorkers would buy a $1,400 plane ticket straight to Brazil. But I'm Seth Kugel, the frugal traveler, so of course, I found a cheaper and more adventurous way there. What else? This one? Yeah. I took the least expensive flight I could find to South America, then made my way through places I'd never been. Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana. My goal? To arrive in the city of Natal in time to see the United States team take on Ghana. Just a $334 one-way flight later, I was in Guyana, an English-speaking nation of waterfalls and gold mines. Guyana is known for its untouched rainforest and the isolated Kaitur Falls. I took a $145 day trip that comes with an exciting flight and gorgeous views. And considered forgetting the World Cup entirely and sticking it out here. But then I'd have missed Suriname, a former Dutch colony. We have so many different cultures in Suriname, but we still live together. We have Chinese, we have uh, Hindustani, we have um, Creole, we have the indi indigenous people, and mix of them. And this multiculturalism is reflected in the cuisine. At a small restaurant, I tried sauto, a version of an Indonesian soup. It's got shredded chicken, bean sprouts, fried potatoes, and onions and garlic. Oh, this is ketchup, but not ketchup like American ketchup. No, 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 no. Ketchup. 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 Yes. yes. Next, I got a cut-rate deal on a non-luxurious eco-resort on the upper Suriname River. It was run by Nelson Tiapo, who's a maroon, an ethnic group descended from 18th century runaway slaves. I was there with a the Hindustani Surinamese family. And let me tell you, these people know how to cook and how to have fun. Then I was off to French Guiana, which is amazingly still a part of France. We have the same money, the same language, the same laws. This needs some explanation. So you get in a boat in Suriname, cross a river, and end up in the European Union. Thank you. Yep, they even have boulangeries, although you'd better get there early. People, bye, 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 there's no more. I came too late. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. On the bus to the Brazilian border, I met Horaima, a Brazilian-born grandmother who lives in France, like the rest of France, across the Atlantic. She was with her son and granddaughters. They were pretty cute. Like me, Horaima prefers adventure over convenience. I'd finally met someone who shares my travel philosophy. <laughs> the next leg of the journey was across the mouth of the Amazon from Amapá State to Belém. Everyone lounged on these cool hammocks. I met some nice families, and the sunset was beautiful. There was even some excitement when a family in a canoe hopped on board to sell shrimp. We all watched as, just after dark, they released themselves back to the river. And when night fell, there was the game. Pretty good TV reception for the Amazon. Once we got to Belen, it was off to the airport for my final leg. And I made it. After 16 days of four plane rides, three minibuses, four boat rides, three collective taxis, one 4x4 pickup, and multiple hammock naps, I was finally united with my fellow American fans. But seriously, did you guys fly here? Pretty boring.